brother with me named John Ryan. Um, I, I recently went to New York for a Kingdom Choice Awards and I was walking to Manhattan and I went to go visit the Statue of Liberty and I ran across my brother John and um, he was homeless at the time. The Holy Spirit was literally leading me all day to give my shirt to somebody. And I'm like, man, I got a nice shirt on. Me and Jojo, my son, was playing around on the subway. I kind of got, um, I took my shirt off and I kind of got my must t-shirt all dirty. And I was like, man, I'm not about to be walking around New York promoting myself in a dirty must t-shirt. I'm gonna keep my shirt. And just so happy, I seen John, one of my brothers named Prince Judah that's from Brooklyn, um, happened to see him first and I saw him praying for him and I guess that gave me confirmation that he was the one and while he's praying for him I was walking up to him and John had looked up and seen him hey, you got it, have, hey, I, ain't, I ain't got a bunch of money man but I got this, this friend too sir he didn't even say anything and I just felt it and it was I don't know it was it's hard to explain it's something you really can't explain mm -hmm. it's, it's the spirit of God it really is you know, I gave my shirt, we, we sold some money to him. We went to go, you know, enjoy the rest of our day. When we was coming back, my wife was like, hey, baby, let's get John some food. He can't, he can't get high with that. You know what I'm saying? He can't go spend that. So we did that. Um, me and the guys got him some hot dogs and, and, and all that, little pretzels, and we went to go back to him. And we just know he was gonna be there. We was gone for like two and a half hours. But we knew he was gonna be there because this was his station. This was like this was his, this was his little air area, you know. This is where he was at all the time. So we went there, and he was nowhere to be found, nowhere. So we just, I kept looking for him. I asked around. I asked the people, you know, the ones that 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 try to get you on the bus, the tour buses. Yeah. I asked them and say, hey man, you know this? And they were like, oh, you talking about John? And we got. He says, well, he usually over there on that side of the park. We walked down that way, couldn't find him. We went um, to, to by the subway station and, and, and we couldn't find him. We asked a couple of the homeless people, do they know him? We took a picture of John and we showed them like, oh yeah, man, it should be in the park. So we kept looking about an hour into it, we could not find him. Um, the guys, my, my team, you know, they was ready to go. My wife was ready to go. And they were like, baby, you know, he's okay and all that. And it's just something I, I just, I couldn't do it. You know what I'm saying? I, I couldn't. I couldn't leave there without me seeing him again because I'm not going to give up searching for him and God ain't give up searching for me. You know what I'm saying? So I kept searching, man. About 45 minutes later, I found him. My, my homeboy, Big E, Prince Judah, they found him and called me and I was like right around the corner and I went over there and he was sitting there super drunk, you know. At the time, I didn't know if he was high or on hair or anything. I just know he was... When he, when he raised up, he looked at me and his eyes were bloodshot red. And I looked at him and I'm like, what's up, man? And he was wearing my t-shirt. <laughs> 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 and he looked at me, man, and all he could do was just shake my hand, kind of like smack my hand like, and I, I just started telling him, man, you know, I love you, dog. You know what I'm saying? This is Jesus talking to you right now. It ain't me. You know what I'm saying? Jesus is letting me know and telling you, hey, man, there's people out here that love you, man. That they ain't, they ain't got to know you, but they love you. The love that's real. Not, not something that's material. You know what I'm saying? Love because you give me something. But the love saying, I want to see you do better. You see what I'm saying? That love. So I end up seeing him again, let him know I was looking for him. I don't know if he knew. <clears throat> All the way. I did. I was. I was drunk. Yes, but I remember. I remember the bits and pieces of it. I'll say. Mm -hmm. But it was good to see him again because mm -hmm. I didn't think I ever would again. So. Okay, yeah. So I, I made it back to Houston, and all of a sudden, I had a vision, and the vision was to get in contact with John 
and fly him out here to Houston and put him in a rehab and pay for it. And it's a nine month program. So just so happened I did that and I put it on social media and it went viral. So I called Trey Nine and said, hey bro, man, I had a vision from God. Well, I think it's a vision from God because I don't think of it like that when I'm in the shower, I tell you that much. And, and he started laughing and was like, well, bruh, if it's really a vision from God within the next day or so, you'll be able to contact John. A homeless guy in Manhattan, New York, you'll be able to contact him and talk to him and ask him and tell him what's happening and, and he's going to approve it. That's how you know it's God. Well, I surely did. Uh, 18 hours later, I contacted Prince Judah that was in Brooklyn. Him and his family went out there to Manhattan, searched for two hours, put it all on the internet. What's going on, man? This is Stove Bridge, Faith Game member Prince Judah, man, holding it down in the NY. We fed a, uh, we ministered to a homeless man last week, and we out here looking for him again. It's on Pyrex, hard to bring him out to Houston. We're going to do this, man. Stove Bridge, holler. They found John. And they let him get the phone. And I talked to him and I told him. And he was still drunk. And he was like, I ain't, I, I, I'm with it. But I just, I just don't feel, um, you know, I don't need to go into rehab. Well, I hadn't talked to God in many years. Like, my wife passed away in 2011. And what I felt is that I was going to die. And I wasn't going to ask God for anything because I didn't feel like I had the right to do anything like that. Mm. So I was gonna accept the consequences and that was it. So I wasn't expecting God to show up mm. at all. Yeah. He didn't want to go to rehab because he'd been to rehabs before. But see, a part of the rehabs he was at was drug-based rehabs mm. instead of Christian-based, you know what I'm saying, where they, 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 they sit there and walk with you and disciple you instead of just make you take AA classes, NA classes, right. and stuff like that. It's more. So I'm explaining this to him, and I said, John, let me ask you something real quick. How long you been on the street? He said, about five months. I said, so you been on the street five months. I said, well, can you do me this? Can I fly you out here to Houston and put you in a rehab for nine months? Can I do that? Because I guarantee you're going to be doing 10 times more better than you would this last five months. Dedicate nine months to me because you dedicated yourself five months in the streets. I know you can dedicate nine months around positive people, around good food, good clothing, good material stuff, and sitting there having to dig in trash cans or, or be with other druggies or stuff that's influencing you. You're not trying to do that, but there's people around you. That's all they're doing. You see what I'm saying? Getting, getting high and drinking alcohol all day. You know what I'm saying? Flirting with the women, poking at people, you know, doing stuff that make people feel uncomfortable. And so he was like, Pyrex, I can do it. I can do it. So here he is now. It's been, it's been, it's been good for me because I, got, I do the gardening. They have two dogs there that nobody walks. I walk them. I mean, I always stay busy. And the pass to Bob over there is amazing. Mm. I learned so much. Mm. All I do is cry. Mm. Hmm. Especially when they talk about Jesus, because <clears throat> I knew him when I was younger, but last part of my life, I did it. So, you know, it's amazing. Just made it back from Dallas. Now I'm about to watch John graduate. You know what I'm saying? What's up, baby? What's up, player? For me to tell you how I feel about this man, it's hard. Mm. It keeps telling me it's not him, but it is. Because mm. if it wasn't him, I wouldn't have listened to anybody else. Mm. There's no way I would have agreed to do that. There's many pastors and preachers that prayed for me while I was sitting there with my sign, homeless, mm. and just like it went in one ear and out the other. Mm. I was born in Staten Island. It's one of the five boroughs of New York City. I lived there for almost all my life. I went to Florida in 91. I was a union carpenter. Um, 91, the bottom fell out. There was no work. So we took my annuity money and went to Florida. And I met the mother of my daughter, Jessica. And that's what's on my heart because when her mom died, she was 16, 
and I just started drinking. Yeah. And I let it down. Yeah. And I, I know the past is the past. Yeah, and it still haunts you though. It does. That's what I just talked to her the other day, and she said, "I love you, Daddy." And I've always loved. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hadn't happened in a long time. Mm -hmm. I have Jesus to thank for it, but I have Him to thank for it because it never would have happened. There you go. She didn't want nothing to do with me, and that's pretty much where I am right now. When I get more comfortable, I'll, I will tell you the rest of the story because sure. there you go. There you go. it hurts. Yeah, a lot of it hurts. Yeah. But that's what's. Well, guess what? We all got a pass, brother. Oh, man, we got a pass. Uh -huh. We got a future, too. Yeah. We got a future. <laughs> so, you know, you know, if we, if we let our past dictate our future, man, we'll never have a future but a negative one. Uh -huh. You get your heart right and your mind right, and everything's going to be cool, dog. Uh -huh. uh, you know, I'm here uh -huh. for you, baby. I love you, baby. Love you, baby. Ever, baby. Forever, baby. Ever. I never a man. I always got the flow when he spits that fire, y'all. <laughs> You heard? <laughs> All the way from New York. <laughs> <laughs> Player. What's up, player? I see you, player. 